Welcome Brainers! Today, we're going to tackle one of the most frequently asked questions, how to web scrape with Python. We'll be using ChatGPT, along with some HTML code details collected from the website being scrapped, so trust me, it's going to be super easy. I'll demonstrate this with the IMDB website, but once you watch the video and understand the process, you'll be able to scrape data from any website effortlessly. Before we start, I'm assuming most of you already have Python and VS Code installed on your system. If not, please make sure to download and install them from their respective websites. Let's create a folder on your desktop and name it Web Scraping. Open the folder, right-click on an empty area, and select Open in Terminal. In the terminal, just type code space dot and hit Enter. This will open the newly created folder in VS Code. With this little icon, you can create new files for writing Python code. I'll explain how to create the scraper code for your specific website, but before that, let me walk you through the code I already have and show you how it works. At a high level, we start by importing the required libraries. Please remember, you must install these libraries first. You can do that using the pip install commands that you see on screen. All the commands and code I demonstrate are available in the link provided in the video description. Next, after the imports, we define a list of URLs that we need to scrape. Then, I have a for loop that goes through each URL. Inside the loop, I send an HTTP request to fetch the web page content. After that, we parse the HTML content using Beautiful Soup, which is a popular Python library used for web scraping. Then we have the website-specific scraping logic. Don't worry about this part for now, we'll show you how to get the scraping code for your specific website, using ChatGPT. Finally, we create a data frame and print the output. For this initial run, I'm scraping just the title field from the IMDB website. Let's run this and see how it works. As you can see, the code produced the output just as expected. Now, let's talk about how to use ChatGPT for the website that you have in hand. As the very first step, please copy this code from the link I've placed at the end of the video description. Replace the URLs with the website you want to scrape. Even if you have more than 5 URLs, I would suggest starting with 5. Once it's working, you can add as many URLs as you want, or you could even create an input file and place the URLs there. Next, remove the existing extraction logic and just add a comment for clarity. Please do the same for this append statement as well. Now, it's time to define the extraction logics needed. Go ahead and open one of the URLs in your Chrome browser. Find the first element you want to scrape, let's say it's the movie title in my case. Right-click on it, and choose Inspect. You should immediately see a window with a specific code segment highlighted. Now, right-click on that segment and choose Copy Element. With this, you can easily describe your extraction logic, just like I do. Let's move on to the next element you want to scrape. Maybe the movie rating this time. Right-click and choose Inspect again. Right-click on the code segment and choose Copy Element. Frame the extraction logic as needed. You can follow the same steps for as many elements as you want to scrape. Once you're ready, please copy and paste this piece of code and the instructions into ChatGPT. And just like that, you have a complete working code ready. 
Simply copy it into your VS Code editor and run it. Wow, everything seems to be working as expected. I hope you found this helpful, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and hit the subscribe button for more useful videos. Thanks for watching.